Hey guys, welcome to Safi Next. Before going into the details of the video, I would like to remind you if you haven't yet subscribed to Safi Next, kindly support the channel through your valued subscription. Now let's turn our attention toward the contents of the video. In this video, you will learn about plotting 3D data in origin. Surface plot is an amazing way of presenting 3D data in origin. So let's see how can we do this. So here I am on the main window of origin and 3D data can be imported to origin through new matrix. So I click on this step to create a new matrix. Now the new matrix has been created and I want to import 3D data by clicking on this tab. And here I want to choose this file I open the file up and the data is now imported. The next thing is to click on this corner, selecting all the columns and then either clicking on this button or coming to plot tab and then to surface and then color map will create. Okay, this is the 3D surface plot of the 3D data. I can play with this by clicking inside this frame to activate the uh, different buttons and I can rotate the plot to see the behavior of the data at different angles. I can rotate by through this button or I can do a horizontal rotation anti-clockwise and clockwise from by clicking on these button. If I click this button multiple time I can rotate the plot over here or to this position. Now, if I want to look at the plot from another angle, I can rotate this this way or I can rotate it this way. I can go to the original position by pressing on this button. If I click on this button, I'll go to the original position. So now I want to rotate it freely by clicking on this button. Now I have different circles. If I click on this circle and drag, I can rotate the whole frame like this. And if I click on this circle, I can rotate it counterclockwise and clockwise as per my own desire. And if I click on this green circle and drag, I can rotate it this way. I can rotate the plot by clicking a red circle this way. So you can rotate the plot the way you want. The next thing we note from this plot is the way the axes are labeled. They are labeled in the axis plane. I can change the plane of these steps by clicking inside the frame anywhere to come to this window. And here I click on the axis tab. And we see the in axis plan is selected. I change this selection to in plan of the screen and then apply and setting OK. You will see yes, the plan of the text is now changed. I can click on the axis and can drag this anywhere I want. And then I click on this rotation button and click on the, the circle and can rotate them as per my desire. And then clicking over this, I are clicking at this button. I can again change the position by dragging this up and down. Similarly, I can click on this. I can drag on this axis to, to drag the numbers away from the axis so that a suitable distance is created. I can do the same with the rest of the axis. You can change this, you can change the orientation, and similarly you can do with this. But I won't waste any more time on these things. I want to tell you something else. Here, I can click on the color bar and can change the position by dragging it either inside the figure frame or away from the figure frame. I put it at this position. And one thing that I note is that the color bar is the worst. Uh, the, 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 the intensity increases downward. I can reverse this by double clicking on the color bar. 
and this window opens up I can reverse the order of the color bar by checking this option if I check this up and press ok you will see now you see the order of the colors is reversed and it is now uh, parallel with what we see in the figure I can change the uh, size of the text with the color bar by pressing on this button and coming to 10 let's say and if I said this OK you see this, the, 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 the text has been reduced and similarly I can individually change the size of the color bars by changing this figure let's say I set this equal to 100 now if I click OK now you see the width of the color bar has been reduced I can individually increase the size of the text by clicking this to by take by setting this equal to 12 right so you can change the position as well the next thing is to note that the x and y axis are labeled not according to the values of the parameters these are the values of the columns and these are the values of the rows of the matrix which we have plotted here we can change these values by coming to the matrix clicking on it and then come to the matrix tab clicking on it and set dimensions and levels if i click on this tab you see columns are 81 columns times rows are 81 times 61 so if your parameter is varying from 0 to 5 let's say I'll set this 0 to 5 and the other parameter along y-axis is varying from 0 to 4 I'll put this to 4 and if I set this okay the y axis will be labeled from 0 to 4 and the x axis will be labeled from 0 to 1 and I replot the data from here first let me rotate this to the position which I have presented over here I rotate from here and it is this position almost and let me drag this a little bit you see the x axis is labeled with from 0 to 5 and similarly the y axis is labeled from 0 to 4 so this way you can label the axis and xy plane according to the choices of the range of the two parameters thanks for watching